But um, for, like, the number one musical highlight, you know, was Prince. Um, right. Oh my goodness! How did that happen? I was there. Oh my God! Was that just mad? It was just like it was unbelievable. Yeah. People still talk about that as a legendary. <laughs> it was. Like, well, they walked out and it was. I day, came. Right? I came Saturday night. He and waited all night. He didn't play. Right. Sunday. Then he, it was about three. Three eight. Three, three o'clock. He morning. went on. He went. He went on. The place was packed. But what was weird, and he played like a, you know, a, like a Madison Square Garden level concert. He had like the, the had all girl the horn, band and, the and then horn he had a section. horn section. Two yeah, different new, bands. New power generation. Yeah, yeah. Two, yeah, two different bands. Yeah. His own sound system. But what, what's, what struck me is, uh, is uh, people were like even were leaving like it got emptier as it went and i got kicked out because oh, you because you had you took a photo i think you tried to help me not get kicked out but i got kicked out anyway <laughs> yeah like uh like two hours <laughs> in too like i like took a photo and then like uh, you know no, which, he, he brought his own security and the, and his security guy came up and said give me your phone and i'm like no and then they were like then you have to leave and i'm like okay and um, I took my friend with me, like we left, but I just walked right <laughs> around the side and right and back a, into the nice. side door. Well, you knew. Cause I knew. You knew the and, side door. And all of a sudden I'm with James Jamerson getting my picture taken with him because I got kicked out. And then I walked right back into the front of the stage. <laughs> nice. It was like nothing had happened. And then he did like solo piano. Oh my God, the, the like, encores, dude, he did like, it was unbelievable. unbelievable. Like it, when we got kicked out, I was like, oh, well, he's been playing for two hours anyway. Right, it's almost over. It's almost over. No, it was going to go on for another hour. 6.15, so he finished. Dude, and, and it was unfucking it was, it was, real. It was, it was, By the time it was 6.15, it it wasn't that packed in there either. Like you, like it was. People you, had to go to work. People it had to go to Monday work. It was Monday morning. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but but the, so the, the weird thing is you're walking around city winery and Prince is going off and you're, and it's not even rammed. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was it like, was, it was like, unbelievable. Well, and you have to yeah. also tell people it was a nine o'clock show, and whoever wanted to see him had to wait for yeah. five hours, and he might show oh, up. Oh yeah. yeah. So I so I got two sidebars on this. One yeah, is yeah, no, go. at six fifteen. I had to go in. At si of, you know, no, no, no. I'm yeah. glad you, you told. It, it, and it was it was as as big a show as as I could have ever ever imagined. Yeah. And he was he was one of my absolute all time favorites growing yeah, up me, in Wisconsin and Minneapolis and all that. So, but at six fifteen. I went up to him on the side of the stage and I was with one of my sons who kind of persevered and went through the whole thing with me. Unbelievable. And I put my arm on his shoulder just to like thank him, just a you know, little physical contact. And by the way, you know, he was several inches shorter than me, which <laughs> was fantastic for me yeah. for a change. And um <laughs> And he was wearing. He was in. He had. He had shoulder. Uh, uh, you know, no shoulder. Uh, what do you call it? A tank top. Yeah. He had a tank top. Yeah, he had a tank top. Yeah. My wife beat her. And he had the softest, non-sweaty <laughs> shoulders and arms. Like he had just finished three hours of kicking ass on stage. He was kicking ass. And it was like he hadn't broken a sweat. Like he had somehow. Between the time I saw him come off the stage, because I was on the stage for the f fourth encore, he came off, and somehow I blinked, and he baby powdered his whole body or something, because it was mm -hmm. so <laughs> soft and dry. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, man, that was incredible. And, and all I could think about was, those are the nicest soft arms I've ever felt. <laughs> Actually, oddly enough, Lou Reed had incredibly soft skin, too. But uh -huh. um, the, other, the other, the thing was, do you know what happened on the Wednesday before this whole thing started? What? So I was on a video vlog like this, uh -huh. and I don't do these a lot, but it was like, and this is a podcast. All right. So I was on a vlog. <laughs> I, sorry. <laughs> I was on a vlog. Shit, I was on a vlog. I don't even know the It might have been I'm a just, podcast. I'm joking. I'm not even sure anyway, I do either. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they were saying, so how did you get prints? And I said, well, you know, I, we did a tribute the year before. And we thought we were getting the after party. But I've been sending him requests to play an after party. At, at, at It started with the Knitting Factory. I've been sending requests to do an after party for a long time. I've been trying to get this motherfucker to play forever. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I said it in the most, you know, and it, when I came out and I said, motherfucker, I didn't think about it. I just, you know. He's Prince, you know, this is what this Sexy is. Sexy motherfucker is one of his right, songs. Right, this is jazz, yeah. rock and roll, right? 
Within 30 seconds, I get a text <laughs> going, please um, call me. From who? Prince. And I'm like, oh, and then, and then the next thing was like, what is your number? And I'm like, uh, it's the number that you, you just, just texted me. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then the phone rings. What is your number? <laughs> what is your number? Oh my God. And it was one of, his, he, he had two 22 year old assistants that mm-hmm. were working with him on this thing. He ended up firing one by the Sunday night show, but, um, both young assistants saying, um, uh, we heard what you called Prince and you know, one, he doesn't swear yeah. and that's not his name. And I'm like, what? You used a curse word and that's not his name. And I'm like, oh man, and I, I, I didn't mean it. To, I mean, I, I, was, I said it in, in respect you know, we're and love. Back, we're, book, we're bookending this because we're back to the power of words and people that understand the power of words. And Prince and better Prince than any other. And Prince understood the power mo- of words. So the fact that the word... Does he have like a network where somebody says something I, bad about him? I don't know, but so, call that so they up? they said. Unfortunately, I know you know the the band's planned for four nights and stuff, but um, Prince is not going to be able to perform uh, at City Winery because of what, because because of, you, because of what you said. That's Boom, not his name. That's a fucking amazing. And and I was and I was like, excuse my language. Oh my god! Please. I'm like, oh my god! Oh my god! And I go, I said, hold on, like, what did you think of that moment? Did did you like? Did your heart sink my, to my your heart, stomach? Yeah, it was like you just blew it. I I I, I screwed up again. Dorf, you screwed up again, and you tried to be. What's Dorf backwards, bro? <laughs> yeah, you, you, tr- you tried to be cool. You tried to like go. Hey, no, you tried, I tried to, to get him a little. Yeah. Like I tried to be cool, and I yeah. screwed up again. Yeah, you know, and I wasn't even drunk. I just mm-hmm. was, and so this is worse than when you went on and on with Lou and asking him about. Oh, this is bad. This with. was the worst. Like I, I completely screwed up. Everyone was so psyched. Like I'm uh-huh. getting calls from everyone. You know, going like, oh my god, you got Prince coming. You know, yeah. so. I'm like, is there anything I could do to this 22 year old on the phone? And she goes, well, let me hold on. And then like a few seconds later, um, Prince says that um, (laughs) you need to write 100 times. I'm sorry. Your name is Prince. And if you write that down, take a photo and then text it back. We'll reconsider. I'm sorry. Your name is Prince. I'm sorry. Your name is Prince. I'm sorry. Your what name is Prince. The fuck, dude. I'm this sorry. Story is like, your name is Prince. <laughs> I mean, so, dude, like, come yeah. on. So, here, this one, slow mo. Dude, like, I never heard you of this. are yeah. Prince. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. You yeah. care yeah. that, like, so, it's like it's, unbelievable. So, Shlomo has, yeah. has, Shlomo has video on his phone of me writing this. So, I'm like writing it on a, on a yellow pad. I'm writing as fast as I can. I bet you he counted. I'll tell you what. I know when we do graffiti upstairs, I'm going to write, I'm sorry, your, your name, name is Prince. Prince at yes. least once. Yeah. So, you know, in, in homage, I mean, look at he. So I don't know. So I did it. I took the photo. How long did it take you to do it? Uh, and how long did it take you to decide to do it? Instantly, you're going to do it. I would it. say. Or did your I would pride s- kick in at all or no? Just a tiny bit. A but tiny bit? Just a tiny, tiny bit. But I was like, no. Because I'm like, me, I'm taking that deal. I'm like, okay, yeah. I will do that. Yeah. Like, But I, your pride kicked in? No, for for, for a thirteenth of a second. Like, okay. I, But I did, th- I did think, like, oh, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? But this is like great but because this is like the genius that's artist Prince level stuff. Well, like the, the p- people who are genius artists do have this like childlike thing that remains intact that enables them to be like creatively genius, but also has that flip side to where like they might make you write, "I'm sorry, my name is Prince" a hundred times. Yeah, yeah. Just it, like it's Bart just Simpson on the. It was on unbelievable. The so know you know, that. obviously oh, yeah. he, he did it, and I'm so glad I bent over and wrote that and i would do that you know for for artists all day long so so you did that and then you texted it and then what happened then she came about an hour later to pick it up to oh she wanted the hard copy yeah she like what you're faking the picture of it somehow i don't know but i don't um 
No, she just wanted to verify it. I don't know, she, but she came but to, the text to pick it up. Picture's not verification enough at that point. Like I'm thinking, like they, to like manipulate a text picture of that would be harder than just doing it. It's like, Dude, it's but, Prince. But, you don't. Ask. I know. Prin- I know. Prin- <laughs> Prince. I know. He had two. Ask. He had two twenty-two-year-old assistants, um, yeah. and he sent one of them out to collect this thing to make sure it was. And then I actually the first few minutes that I got to chat with him, which was an honor, I asked him about his young assistants. And he said something um, that I'll never forget. He said, uh, uh, he might have said, called me Michael. I don't remember if he ended up knowing my name. But he, he was like, uh, I, need, I need to be surrounded by youth. I need youth. It gives me life. But just real quick, I remember like at three in the morning thinking like, man, after two, spending two nights waiting for Prince, thinking he wasn't going to come on. And you kind of get mad, and you're just like, ah, oh, man, fuck Prince. But the minute he walks on stage, he charmed, like, charms all that right out of you because the dude was funny. That was the thing I wasn't expecting. Like, I wasn't expecting him to be so likable and funny like that, you know? Anyway. He, so. he, he, was, he was amazing. Yeah. He truly was one of the great, that was the great. full Afro Prince version, right? Yeah. Right. He had a big Afro. He had a specter. You know, sphere, whatever you yeah. call that, that cane, and he was—he truly he was—he was, was a magic, magic man. 